Hey guys, what's up? So today I thought I would use my beach palette again and I'm going to do kind of like a bronzy goddess kind of look. Um, I'm sorry my hair and stuff isn't really done. I kind of br have brushed it out. I thought I would just leave the waves in it today. I feel like that might look a little bit more beachy anyways. I don't really have any plans today so I don't know if I'm going to be going anywhere or not. Um, anyways, to start off, I'm going to be using the Marcel City Tinted Cream with SPF 25. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise. Um, everyone is home. So I'm just going to put that on my face and I'm going to use my fingers to rub it in. This is a sample that I got from Birchbox. I think in my Maybox. Um, I really, really like it, and I actually kind of want to buy a full size of this, so I've really been enjoying using it. I'm just going to rub that all in. Once I've got that rubbed in, I'm going to take my It Bye Bye Under Eye and put that under my eyes. And I'm also going to take my NYX Full Coverage Concealer and I'm just going to dab that in any red areas or spotty areas. Then I'm going to take my Sedona 928 brush and blend that all. Once I've done that, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just going to put that on my eyelids. Went ahead and picked one of these up when I bought the Beach Palette because if you look at my Instagram, if you bought $40 worth of stuff from them, you could get the Beach Bag. And this was at Ulta. Uh, I'm not sure if they released it on their website yet or not. I know it was released on Ulta about a week or two ago. Once I've done that, I'm going to take my beach palette, and I'm going to actually try a brush I haven't used yet. It's the Moda M19, and it just looks really pretty and beachy, so I really want to try it. And I'm going to start off by taking the color Daybreak and putting that on my eyelids. You can just use your fingers to kind of clean it up a little bit. After I've done that, I'm going to take my Elizabeth Mott blending brush and I'm going to take the color Heat Wave and I'm just going to use that to blend it out. I'm just going to kind of clean up the edges a little bit and maybe add a little bit more of the heat wave. You can add as much or as little of this as you want. The colors are very, very pigmented. I just like really intense color when I do things. <clears throat> Once I've done that, I'm going to take my Vera Mona smudger brush and I'm going to take the color Double Dipped. And I'm going to run that under my eyes. Next up, I'm going to take my Luxie 207 angled brush. And I'm going to take the color salt and use that to highlight. Mm -hmm. 
After that, I'm going to take my Sephora Beautiful Crush palette and I'm going to be taking a Sedona 56C1 brush and I'm going to be taking this brown color here and I'm going to use that in my brows. I'm just going to fill them in just a tiny bit, not too much. Once I've done that, I am going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to be taking my Benefit Bad Gal Bing mascara and I'm going to use that on the tops and the bottom lashes. Once I've done that, I'm going to curl my lashes again. And I'm actually going to take a tissue and clean this between doing that because this is a very, like, this takes a very long time to dry and I want to try my best not to transfer it onto my other eyelid. So once I've curled my lashes again, I'm going to take my It by My Pores pressed powder and I'm just going to use this all over my face. The reason I do this after, it's like I've told you guys a couple of times before, it's to get any like loose eyeshadow and stuff that's fallen, and I've learned that trick from watching Tanya Burr. The next thing that I'm going to do is take my Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I'm going to use that to bronze up. Once I've done that, I'm going to take a small blending brush, blending sponge, and just use that to clean up and like um, blend everything in. That way, I don't have like harsh lines and stuff. Next up, I'm going to take my Sephora Beautiful Crush palette again, and I'm going to be taking if I can open it. I'm going to be taking this um, coral color and I'm going to be taking my Ulta blush brush and just putting this on my cheeks. Once I've done that, I am going to be taking my Glow Milk highlighter and I'm going to be putting that on my cheeks. I'm also going to put it on my nose and my cupid's bow. It looks like I kind of got some of it in my hair as well, so I guess my hair is going to have some highlight. Now I'm just going to blend this with my fingers. I feel like because this is such a liquidy, um, t like pigmented kind of highlight that it really works with this look. 
So once I have that all blended, I'm actually going to take my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. This isn't really a bronzy color, but I think with like all the other stuff going on that this works really well. So I'm just going to apply this to all over my lips. I would have never purchased this color on my own, but I got it from Ipsy and I really like it. So once I've done that, this is the finished look. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to these nails. These are very beachy looking nails and these are from Color Street. Um, I've been loving Color Street lately. I'm not affiliated with them, although I would love to get into that. It looks like so much fun to sell these because they are so awesome. Um, I'm still, I'm going to review them on my blog at some point. I'm still kind of testing them out, but so far I'm pretty much in love with these. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link in the description from the person that I usually buy them from. And if you guys are interested, you can check them out. They're about $13 a piece, and I think you get about 8 of them on each um, thing. I don't know if that's standard for the stick-on nails or not, but these are awesome. So um, anyways, I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm hoping I can find some more looks to show you guys with the Beach Palette as well. But this is another one I've been loving. And if you, again, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.